Yeah, hello and welcome to this video playing Marshall 91. Oh, he's got a really high rating. Okay, his bullet rating is 1900, yeah, and his blitz rating is 2590. Yeah, okay. That sounds a little bit odd. Let's see what we get. This line, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is supposed to be a little bit better for white, this variation. But um, it's not like terrible for black. Let's see what he's going to continue with. Um, yeah, here you usually capture. And uh, I should try to get... Um, okay, this is now getting an entirely different, uh, an entirely different direction after he went c5. Yeah, knight e7 looks kind of normal now. It's a little bit odd what Black did here, giving me this opportunity. I mean, it's not like I'm winning or anything, but it's a little bit odd. That um, that he allowed this. Yeah, I mean, you have to cover c six somehow, I guess. So knight e seven looks very normal. Okay. Um. Yeah, I guess taking is fine, and I mean black is not in terrible shape here. Let's see about it. Um, I wonder, this knight should go to d3. That would be a really nice square. But it's not easy to get there. The thing that I'm wondering about is if black uh, will play a d3 at any, any moment. Hmm, I don't know. It's tough to say eh, if this move is really helpful or not. Tiam. There's no really easy way to get the knight to get the knight to d3. C5 would be a good way, but he will play queen before here, fairly certain. And uh, I should probably go b3. Yeah, I think I'm. Um, let me let me block this for the time being. I really don't know what to make of a possible uh, d3. Hmm, yeah, I don't really see how I can get the knight to d3. Maybe some pawn to b4, knight c5. Huh. Yeah, but b4, it's like rook b8 and a5. Maybe it's still a good idea. On d3 the knight is so nice because it does everything. Yeah, it's like it covers b2, covers b4, covers all kinds of good squares, uh, useful squares. And um, yeah, he could have gone b3. Okay, now he goes c5. That's interesting. Okay, the knight might come to c6. So I should probably reroute this. So. I move it back 
just to be able to take on c6 if uh, if I need to go here The knight to d3, I still want there. <laughs> I want to go there. Maybe uh, I'm too much um, focused on that, on that idea. Yeah, but I got there. Got there at the end. Yeah. I just prevented queen to e4. Okay. Um, not sure about this. But I think it's it's kind of useful to play. Okay, so if I take this queen h1, yeah, hmm, okay. Mm, I don't know if that is really helping putting the knight there. Mm, H5 is hanging. Yeah. But there's this queen e2 and d3. I mean, okay, I mean, I really, uh, I mean, this is just playing against an engine. It's very obvious, but you still have to make, uh, make moves and you cannot just resign. I report him, he will get banned. We know the deal. But. Um, it's still kind of, it's always a, a real waste of time. It's extremely pointless, yeah, this game. As it was obvious that it is a cheater from, from, from the very beginning, the account was just, just so extremely fishy. You don't have 1900 or something in uh, in uh, in bullet and then rematch, yeah, screw you. Yeah, that, that, that will be an immediate ban. <laughs> just crazy, this idiot. Okay, so where is the ban? Let me do that right away. Let's top 100, yeah, that's easy. So where is that? Uh, report, cheat, cheating in blitz time control, please ban, uh, capture, checkmate in one move, really? Okay, send. One link to a cheated game. Okay. Where was the link? <laughs> uh, sorry that you have to go all this, but I don't want to. I don't want to forget about it, you know. And it can easily happen. Eh? You play game after game after game, and then you forget to report this moron.
So I have to solve it again. Uh, mid. Yeah, let's block it. The engine, I mean. And now um, we can look at this game. I mean, it just was kind of maybe interesting. I don't know. It's not really interesting in some way. Sorry. Uh, but um, let's have a look then. Yeah. So we had this opening, which is a fairly, it's fairly normal. I mean, this is also funny. Like here, yeah, like he spent like half a minute, yeah, maybe getting his his uh, his stuff fired up, because ninety seven is is then is what you play. I mean, it's just what you play. What what else is there? Yeah, rook c eight or queen d seven or whatever. So yeah, so here you had it all set up. And um, so I shouldn't take no e five. The whole thing what I'm doing is not really working uh, to my advantage. Okay. So, but um, like I would still like to be interested in where I screwed it up. So rook b eight. I mean, I was okay for a long time for sure. So like here, I think this this still should be around equal. This bishop is not really a great piece. Okay, two. Yeah, I'm kind of okay here. <laughs> yeah, maybe this was really not great. Yeah, this g3, f3. I mean, I was kind of you know if you play against an engine you just um you try to keep it uh, as simple as possible this is why i went to prevent e4 a queen e4 but maybe it's not it's not it's not best huh? yeah and here i'm getting into huge trouble what is the stats zero thirteen and yeah, it's one inaccuracy probably in the opening or when, when he was totally winning already. Like here. And this is probably debatable if that is really inaccurate. No. It's it's, it's actually the best move. After a little bit more time, this automatic um, it's automatic here, you know, this thing. And if you take him on the queen this is actually not an inaccuracy. So probably he was closer to the engine um, than uh, this automatic automatic uh, function here provides. Yeah, yeah, you have the Orchida on every platform, so this is one of those games. I get the points back, I guess. It takes it takes a moment, but I get it back. Okay, I hope that was still of some interest to you. Thanks for watching.